mid-year 2021, we are getting the first episodes for Marvel's What If. Mid-year 2021, that's nearly, right. that's nearly on it's us. nearly now. Not a lot is known about this as of yet. There's been a couple of trailers and clips and bits and pieces. But what I've done, I've compiled a bunch of information to let people know what is probably coming up in this series. They should call it What's This? What's this? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? What's new? <laughs> first of all, leave a like on this video. And secondly, do you want to quickly explain what What If is as a series? Well, we're going to see alternate Marvel Universe realities yep. from the infinite Marvel multiverse in which a little change to the regular Marvel Universe produces some surprising results. He's, t he's tilted his glasses down. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, so traditionally the comics, they'll take that particular Marvel Universe and put a twist on it, but this is going to do twists on the MCU. That's right. So it's it's borrowing some ideas from the comics, mm -hmm. of which some of which we'll talk about, but it's basically the characters that you know with the actors that you know from those particular movies and TV shows in, in other scenarios. Now initially they had 30 different ideas, uh -huh. which they narrowed down to 10. Uh, they nixed a bunch of them, one of which even being Jane Foster as Thor, because that obviously is being turned into a movie there you go, yeah. instead. But we do know that the first episode uh, is going to be where Peggy Carter becomes Captain Britain after mm -hmm. taking the super soldier serum. And Steve Rogers becomes an Iron Man of sorts. Yeah. But he stays as Lil, Lil yeah. Steve. Skinny little Steve. Lil Stevie. So what do you think about that? I love it. Yeah. Steve Rogers stomping around his little little tank robot man. That's right, yeah. yeah. It seems as if also for this episode we're going to be getting Howard Stark. We're going to be getting the Howling Commandos are going to make yeah. a reappearance. So I'm not sure whether it is going to then skip to the modern day or not. Are we getting some voice actors returning? I know we're getting Hayley Atwell as there's, uh, Captain there's Britain. There's going to be a list at the end of all the returning oh. voice actors, but... But then we shan't speculate. Yeah, but uh, pretty much anybody you could imagine will be making an appearance in, in this series. Next up, I've got one that takes place in the zombie universe. Oh. And all that we know about this is, well, it might not even be the universe because we see Bucky as the Winter Soldier fighting a zombified Captain America. My goodness, they used to be friends. They used to be friends. A long time ago. That's right, a long time ago. <laughs> so we don't know whether specifically Steve has turned into this, mm -hmm. whether it is a universe, because often with the Marvel zombies, a bunch of the heroes turn into zombies and a few people remain. It's basically an excuse to kill a bunch of <laughs> superhero zombies, essentially, isn't That's it? right, And yeah. there's been different variations there's with, like, Machine Man and bits and pieces, but this is strictly Bucky-focused, it seems, yeah. Uh, this is another one we've got confirmed. This is if T'Challa, instead of Peter Quill, becomes Star-Lord. So he's taken into space by Yondu, gets the jacket, gets the mask, does all of that. But the uh, particularly special thing about this episode is that Chadwick Boseman recorded this episode and others before, in the series. Before his passing. Before his yeah. passing. So, yeah, it will be his final probably performance in general that we haven't seen yet, yeah. uh, which, you know, which makes it you know, very compelling in itself. But I also like the idea of Black Panther in space, essentially. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. And I guess he won't have his powers, I'd imagine. And so unless he talk, took some herbs with him. That's true. He could have took some herbs with him, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll find out one I'm about to be abducted, but can I take... I'm going to take... Just a handful. Just a... Dad, can I have some of the herbs? Yeah. Because of the abduction. Uh, this is where we move into rumour territory, though. So cool. these are unconfirmed. Now, this is our wheelhouse. Rampant speculation that will turn out to be wrong. You better believe it. Uh, so there were rumours of a Loki as Thor episode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. That's happened in the comics, of course, where he's... Uh, wielded the hammer. Also, fun fact, and there's footage of it, Tom Hiddleston auditioned for the role of Thor. There's footage with him with blonde hair and <laughs> holding the hammer up high. Yeah. Which, that would have been a very different uh, universe. But we also got some leaked concept, which looks as if it points towards what if Loki won and became king of Asgard. Ah. Uh, which, you know, he has sort of been king before, but it was when he was pretending to be somebody else or whatever. Uh -huh. But what would a rule... Of just him, like, look like in this scenario, I guess. A lot of tricks, I would imagine. No doubt a lot tricks of tricks. and pranks. Tricks and pranks and jokes and japes. Next up, we have another... A lot of stuff turning into snakes, probably. That's right. Yeah. This is another rumoured one. What if Doctor Strange had been a disciple of Dormammu? Oh. So where either he turns evil or mm -hmm, he's, mm -hmm. he's always evil. What kind? What would have that looked like? Uh, maybe kind of a Silver Surfer kind of scenario where he's doing his bidding. Oh, yeah, sure. Not really sure. Again, that, mm -hmm. that one's more of a rumour. Don't know much about this. But this one's got a bit more evidence behind it. There's an image leaked of Tony Stark in a different brightly coloured Hulkbuster suit. And it seems as if the rumour is, and it's been semi-confirmed by Jeff Goldblum, that it spins off where he doesn't make it back through the portal in Avengers 
and he ends up on Sakaar. Oh, and in fighting in a gladiator exactly. battle. Exactly. So it's, it's Thor Ragnarok or World War Hulk, except it's Tony Stark, essentially. Oh. Yeah. Now we're getting even uh, smaller in terms of the information available. Okay. This is just based on very brief images and, and leaked stuff. But there's an image of Peter Parker in a Hawkeye costume, oh. which you know could be a, a scenario where he doesn't become Spider-Man, he isn't mm -hmm. bitten, but he still wants to be a hero. So what does he do? I can't. I don't have superpowers. I guess I'm the bow and arrow guy. Sure, right. Yeah. He joined Shield, and he's like, "I want to be. I, I want to be part of this team, please." And, and Hawkeye's like, "There's already a bow and arrow guy. It's me." Mm. He beats him up. <laughs> I'd watch that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, next up, we have. I don't know who was who in that scenario, but somebody beats somebody. <laughs> somebody up. beats up somebody. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one of Gamora in Thanos's gold armor with the double bladed sword that he has. Oh, that's his signature sword. Yeah, I wonder if that's a scenario where she kills him and takes over the mantle and decides to collect the Infinity Stones. Yeah. Or it's a scenario in which he's like, uh, "Can you take my golden armor and my big sword to the dry cleaners?" <laughs> and she's like, "Yep." But then she takes it home. She puts it on. It's just a prank. Take some photos. She loves it. Oh, it's me. I'm my dad. Oh, I'm Thanos. I'm putting this on the gram. <laughs> There's a comment from him. He's like, oh, I don't approve. Call me. <laughs> I need you to call me immediately. Uh, another one sees the return of Ultron, but it looks as if he's in some kind of almost Asgardian-esque kind of space armor design. Oh. And though it's a blurry picture, it looks as if he might have the Infinity Stones embedded in his chest. Oh, bloody There's, hell. There's at the very least some colored lights in there. What I always thought was interesting about Ultron... So either mm. he's got the Infinity Stones mm. or it's Christmas. Or it's Christmas, yeah. What I always thought was interesting about Ultron that they never really touched upon... He was a robot. He was a robot. They covered that, though. That he's partially a Chitari, but also Mind Stone virus. Mm. And there's the theory that maybe he was sent by Thanos as some kind of infiltration unit or program. Yeah, yeah. Or partially. Like, he's composed of, like, a number of different things that make him up. And... What if, you know, he then got the opportunity, like he won, and then he thought, either I'm going to collect the Infinity Stones or I'm going to protect Earth by stopping Thanos or yeah, something yeah. along those lines, yeah. I mean, if he was sent as a weapon by Thanos mm. to infiltrate, yeah, probably would have put him in something that someone would, you know, open in the daily course of their lives. Okay. Not in a scepter that... Yeah, that's A dangerous fair. scepter. Like a cake box. Yeah, or a can of Coke or something. <laughs> You know those ones that got the name on it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably not a vanilla. It'd be one of those cans of Coke that's got, got like, share a Coke with a world conqueror. And you're like, what is this? Oh, it doesn't matter. And you crack it open. You're like, ah! Uh, there's an image which just is called Party Thor. Okay. And it's just like a pretty fun, loving looking version of Thor. What if Thor decided to have a bit of fun? <laughs> yeah, for once in his goddamn life. Maybe it's Thor who never learned a lesson. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Never was sent to Earth, so he's just having a good old he time. He never had that awkward conversation with his dad and then got banished. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Call me immediately. I'm going to banish you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, not, yeah. not home. <laughs> and the last one uh, is interesting because it's the collector, Benicio Del Toro, and he's just buff. So I guess it's like, what if the collector was buff? Huh. What if yeah. he was? What does that mean, you know? I don't know. Mm. What if instead of collecting things, he was collecting reps? Yeah, maybe. Crunches, curls, yeah. pre-workout. So, yeah, that's kind collecting of... Collecting uh, HGH. <laughs> yes. Shh, don't tell don't anybody. Tell, that's a Hollywood secret. Shh. But they're all doing it. But yeah, don't tell anyone. Do, everyone's doing it. Yeah. They're juicing. So at this point in time, this is all we know. We don't really know also whether they're going to reveal week to week what each episode's going to be. Yeah. Some of these also might be for second seasons or third seasons. Yeah. I mean, yeah. some of these might even just be like a little tease. Yeah. And and if people really, you know, maybe a, just a frame of it and pe people respond to it, uh, yeah. then maybe they'll do an episode Doing on something it. else, yeah. Maybe some of these, they mm. don't know what they're doing and they're hoping the internet will fill in the blanks. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, we didn't, we didn't know what to do with this Ultron thing, but I guess it's Ultron at Christmas now. <laughs> so. <laughs> so the cast of this, as mentioned, it is huge. Uh, here's the list. There'll be some music as well to accompany this. Oh. Not epic, just, you know, royalty-free. Just <laughs> royalty-free weak trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> pretty impressive though the trumpets Not, yeah I guess but like the list they pretty much got everybody they said it's, it's you're going to be surprised who, who turns up so you're going to be, be surprised who we sent a microphone to and they recorded in the closet of their house well I think I'd imagine like a lot of these were recorded when they have somebody on set like oh, if yeah. there's a Tony Stark centric episode they probably got Robert Downey Jr. to record oh, some yeah, stuff you know what sure, I mean yeah. but we'll see won't we anyways thanks for watching this we also have a service called BigSandwich.co where we do movie commentaries and additional bonus podcasts and our podcast the Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows comes out a day early there but we're going to leave now, aren't we? And we're going to leave you with this.
Just silence. Goodbye. Oh, I love silence. Yeah, good. Good.